Hello and welcome to my live. We are getting ready to do a really cool transfer called Plant, Plant Seeds of Love. And I have lots planned for this. So I've got some basic colors picked out. Um, I'll go through those. Let me make sure my my shared feed is going live in my VIP group and make sure I've got this pulled up so I can hear you. I mean, read comments when you comment during the video. So I picked some autumn colors. I have some mixing that I'm going to do to make them a little bit more you know, fall, autumn colors. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Okay. I think we're, I think we're golden. I think the comments so far. I can see. All right, great. All right, so this is called Plant Seeds of Love. And I've got to cut these little different pine cone, flower, leaf, seed, things apart. I don't have the cool new transfer cutting scissors yet. So I'm going to get them now. I'm putting an order in in August. I'm getting the scissors. Cannot one cannot have enough scissors for crafting ever. And I'm using like the best pair in my house right now that I have. Okay. Okay, so in the catalog, they did this gorgeous, um, it's kind of like a canvas pendant flag. It's a pendant banner, sorry. Pendant banner that hangs down, has like a little wooden um, dowel that goes through it. Anyway, it's really cool. The way that turned out and so I'm kind of going to emulate that except for I'm using our round whiteboard because I think the colors are going to pop that I'm going to do on this. All right so for starters let me explain the color mixing thing. So I got blackout because I want to make a shade darker of a red and I chose poppy because I want to make this a darker shade of red kind of more of a burgundy and I don't have that in a chalk paste so I'm going to make it I'm also going to use um, orange peel bumblebee but I'm going to add a little bit of brown to them because I want them more like uh, late September orange and yellow leaf color and then also the bark we use that straight so I've got some colors to mix it's going to be like four ish colors and then I'm going to put those as the leaves around the center word seed plant seeds of love so this will be in the center So, I got to get my chalk paste ready and my plate ready, and then we will start chalking. All right, so for starters, let's get a little bit 
of these colors going. We got black, we have poppy, orange peel, bumblebee, have lots of trouble with this brown bark. It wants to give me grief for some reason. Okay, so let's give these a stir before we get going here. Let's make sure they're ready to go. Poppy's got, like it's a red, but it has like orange undertone to it. You know how, you know how um, red can have like a blue undertone, it can have a red undertone, I mean an, an orange undertone. Um, sometimes, just depends, it's kind of how they do like the paint mixing and stuff for your wall color. They'll take like pure red, um, whether it's like cadmium red or crimson, whatever the base color of the red is. And then they can add to it a little bit of another color just to get a different undertone to it. And that is how they got this poppy. Kind of has a little bit of an orange undertone to it. Okay, I think we got our starter colors here. All right, so let's get we want enough of these colors so that we can mix a little brown with it and still have enough to do the, the whole transfer. All right, so I'm just grabbing a little bit of each of the three that I'm gonna alter here. Okay, now, I don't know what's happening. Hopefully I'm still live. It doesn't look like I'm advancing very much. So I'm refreshing my page. If I lose you, I am so sorry. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit of bark to this because I kind of want it to be a little bit mustardy. And that looks like it's doing the trick. A little bit of bark. All right, and I'm going to spritz that so it stays good. All right. Next, a little bit of bark to this orange, orange peel. And then that water is just so because it's in a smaller concentration, so I don't have it dry out too much. And then when adding black to any color, just a little bit goes a long way. And there we have our more toned down burgundy. Okay, we are ready, people. That did exactly what I wanted. Okay. So now with those colors that I just mixed up, let's do some of these real quick. Okay, so first let's do the center and then we'll build up 
kind of like a wreath around it of all these leaves and seeds and stuff. All right. Let's do... I'm just going to kind of grab a little bit of this and mix because I think that'll be cool. Kind of a reddish orange blend of the burgundy. Love this. Okay, so there's our start. to bring you a little bit in closer so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing here. Okay, now we're going to start with one of the little transfers. It looks like I got a little bit of, there's my other towel. When I spritzed that water, I got a little bit of water around the edge there. Okay. All right, so basically we are building a wreath around this. Oh, I forgot to do that. I forgot to mix the brown with the black. I was going to add brown in the center <laughs> with just a smidge of black in it. I forgot to do that part. Okay. why that multi-tool is great for mixing. I know I'm a little bit slightly off screen mixing a brown together that I wanted that was different than just plain bark. All right, I think we got it now. All right, so this little seed thing, whatever it is, so we just want to kind of alternate it around the board, maybe do it um, three or four times around in spots. It doesn't have to be necessarily symmetrical. It doesn't have to be even, just kind of maybe spaced. however far apart you want it. And then we're going to throw in some of these colors that we made in some of the other things. And in between each color and each transfer change, I'm going to dry it so that we can go to the next color. And it's okay if our transfer touches one of the other seeds that we did. My power strip is far away from me right now. I can't get my can't get my blow dryer closer. It's the power cord got pulled back away a little bit. So, all right, so that's that one. Now let's do, let's see, I have a pine cone and we're going to do this in regular bark color. So it's a lighter brown because we just had done this 
bark that we mixed with a little bit of black to make it like a really deep char like dark chocolate color. So now this one is going to be different, completely different. All right, so I'm just going to throw this off a little. I'm going to go, not throw it off, but I mean I'm, I'm altering how I'm chalking the pine cones. Okay. So we're just trying to make kind of a design with how we're doing this. They can face different directions, whatever you want, okay? All right, that looks good. Now, after each change, we dry. I'm going to push it back this way, that whole strip. No. It's okay. It's okay. It's working all right. It's just got a. It's just a little bit tight. Okay. Now, this reddish color I'm going to use for this. We made kind of a. We took poppy, and we added a little bark to it. And this is just going to be our little pop of color of that mixed because I know I added just a smidge of water to it so it wouldn't dry while it sat there. Ooh, we got a lot. We got a lot. All right, so we're going to do a couple of these. So pretty. It's gorgeous out, and I'm doing an autumn board, but that's okay. It's going to be done, and then when I'm ready, I can just put it up. It's ready to go. Okay. All right, in the water, that one goes. Rinsing it off. Okay, let's dry that. I feel like our mustard yellow that I made needs to be a little bit more mustardy. A little bit more. So... Let me get a little bit more of that bark and add it. So I definitely want it more toned. Is exactly what I wanted right there. Okay. Okay. Did I dry that good enough? Those are good and dry. Okay. All right. So let's do. Let's do this little guy. Is that the one I want? Let's do this little guy, and we want it kind of in between um, some of these other colors because we just want to space out the colors that we do. We're trying to have like unity in this board, and what I mean by that is we are spreading out our colors and having like a balance or an equal amount of it so that nothing is too heavy on the board. Like I'm not too heavy on the red on the left or I'm not too heavy on red on the right 
because we want it to be in balance. That is what makes art beautiful. Okay, let's do this guy. He's kind of like, um, pardon me for my non, um, what do you call it, non-botany terminology when I say this wheat looking twig <laughs> because I don't know what it is. That's funny. Such a city slicker. So non-plant like of me. Okay, let's do a couple of these in a couple of spots. Ooh, you know what? I don't know if that one turned out. No, it didn't. Okay, so sometimes what happens is I did not get the bubble worked out before I chalked. And since it's a little, it was a little bit bigger of a transfer piece, that just smeared because it wasn't stuck down. All right, let me clean this. We'll dry it, and then we'll try that one again. That happens. do that again except for this time I'll make sure it's down good with my finger I thought I hit it with my finger but I did not seal it down good okay much better okay flat. Beautiful. Okay, that one goes in the water. All right, let's dry that layer. Okay, now we're going to go with this beauty. Kind of like a little daisy. All right, so I'm going to grab one of my littler things. I think I want to make some more of that red orange. So let me mix some right in here because I think that would be a pretty pop of color in here. So even if you strategically plan it out, sometimes as you're working, you think it needs a little bit of this here or a little bit of this there, and you're allowed to improvise and do that. Nothing wrong with improvisation.
just something a little bit I don't know what I was going to say a little bit different Wolfen um I maybe I was going to say a little bit unexpected I don't know I don't know what I was going to say So I got a little bit of an overlap there that's okay we can balance things out as we need to. That looks good. All right, let's put that one in the water. And stick that back in over there. Let's dry this layer. Okay, now I want to mix a little bit of bark and lighten it up with a little bit of this mustard yellow that I have. I want kind of like a hybrid of in between. That looks good right there. Let me put that one in the water and this one in the water. I think we're done with that. All right, let's do, let's do some pop colors of leaves. I think we need a bunch of leaves to pull everything together. So however many we can get in before this starts to get kind of dry, then we'll take a break on it. So just wherever you can fit these in. Throughout the design. They can point outward. They can point inward. You can rotate and alternate that. wherever you feel like you need it. We're just kind of filling in some of the negative space that's still white to kind of pull it together in a cohesive way. Okay, now we made it all the way around. Now we can do a couple of these other transfers, maybe in similar color. Let me wash my hands here. Let's give this a good dry before we start another layer because we're building up this layer over time here. Um, so just take your time with it and be patient, dry between each layer, and we're good to go then. Okay. All right. So we've got a couple other little seed things here. Oops. Just throwing stuff on the floor now.
Okay, so wherever you can fit a few of each of them. This one kind of got all grungy. Let me get a different one. I go through a lot of squeegees just because it is, once I start getting them all over my hands, I don't want to junk up what I'm working on. Because then I'll be smudging. Everything's sticking to me today. So I'm just going around my board trying to do kind of a little bit where I have white spots and I'm adding that to it. little bit of a, this looks like berries on a little branch, but we're going to do it kind of, we're going to keep going with our theme of fall colors here and just keep building on. These are like the dried stage of plant material. So we are seeing it once it's past its past its um, growing time and starting to dry on the on the branch. So we're making it look like all the autumn colors they're all golden and they're all they all turn into the darker colors guys this is looking really nice like our colors that we made so far. All right, let's dry this again. Make sure our new little twigs are all dry, ready to go. Okay, now do I have any more of my little cut in half ones? Yeah, I do. All right, so now I'm going to use some of that dark chocolate color again for this last little foliage thing. It's a real tiny little piece. I'm going to fuzz it, and then we're going to bring in the dark chocolate brown again that we mixed up with bark and black to create it. So let me stir my little mixture over here, make sure it's still good to go. Okay, I think we're good. All right, and we're just gonna go in a couple areas. We're filling in where we think it needs a little of it. Whatever direction you want to go. Just go around the board, add a couple of these in a couple places.
They're so teeny tiny though. <laughs> but whatever your pattern is and whatever you're going with, it's going to, in the whole grand scheme of things, it's going to pull it all together. more. How's that look? Does that look pretty good? I think that looks good. Now if you want you can do bright summer colors with these i just think the majority of them looked like the drier dried out seed pods and wreath that you would do in the fall so there's my color mixing so i just used brown and black to make more subtle subdued colors out of we did poppy orange peel we added um, the orange peel with a little bit of brown and then we added some of that poppy that had black added to it over here to make kind of like a reddish and then we added um, bar uh, bark to um, oh, what color did we use we used um, bumblebee and we added bark to it here and we added a whole bunch of bark to it to make that color and then added bark and black to make that center color. And that's how we did it, guys. We were geniuses on that. So we got a really cute autumn board out of the Plant Seeds of Love transfer. That looks gorgeous. Very, very pretty. All right, so that is project one for tonight. So let's move that one off to the side and we are going to grab our next board. So this is another, this is another board. Um, it says Michael's store incorporated, but I got this at a consignment shop and then I took the paper out and put some cardstock in it. It's fall colors cause I'm kind of going with that theme today. Um, and then let me wipe it off here with microfiber, make sure I got the screen clean. And then we're going to do the trust in the Lord with all thine heart transfer. So let's get our fuzz cloth next to here. brand new transfer. It smells brand new. So I definitely want a little bit of fuzz because we're going on to glass. Glass is a really smooth surface so this is kind of our way of like roughing up our transfer before we put the transfer down. This is going to help us remove it easier. All right, so kind of center it. This is one of those frames where you can literally hang it any which way. There's not really an up and down. Gosh. All right, so just work your bubbles out. The pressure that you use with your hand is gonna seal it and get all the bubbles out so that you are good. Now, what is going on here? What is that? Oh, that's odd. Where'd that water come from? Guys, I have no idea what just happened. This transfer, this 
was completely dry. I have no idea where that water came from, but let me blot it because that would make my chocolate paste bleed under there and I don't want it to. Yeah, you gotta make sure your surface that you're working on is dry for sure. All right, so my daughter said, do some fall colors because the paper under here is kind of fallish. So she said, do like an orange and yellow and go with the fall theme. So let's do that and we might mix in a little bit of our plate from our previous project. So let's do... This is Bumblebee. This is Orange Peel. And then let's get some of this orange and red mixture. See if we can spritz that. Oh, my dog's, my dog is on her pillow having a dream. I don't know who she's barking at, but she's like barking in her sleep in the background here. to be too soupy. I can clean it up a little bit with some of the orange. Okay. All right, you get the idea. All right, let me move that. Got a little bit of it right there. under the frame. Okay, I think we're kind of ready. All right, so the idea is that we're going to come up with the yellow and meat. Up here. Make sure we get all the way up to that line. Okay, and then we will get the orange peel to come all the way down to that line. The end there. Okay, now where the extra is on the edge there, we're gonna kind of blend in the middle. All right, so we need a little bit of orange and a little bit of, all right, so we're gonna pull this other color and kind of mix. And pull, push, pull, whatever we, whatever we can do here. And mix it on there. All right. That's probably the best we're going to get that. We'll see what that looks like. it guys that turned out really colorful all right so we just have a couple little spots that we can 
clean here and over here, but that looks really good. And you can tell the mixture in the center. Let's dry that and see what that looks like dried. Let me grab this wipe though and get those two spots. See a couple over here. That looks good. That turned out really nice. Okay. Cool. I'm glad that worked. All right. So we have both boards. Let me straighten you back up here. All right. So we have The Trust in the Lord and a little bit earlier we did the Plant Seeds of Love board. I really like how they turned out. So we were we were doing a fall themed, autumn themed colors and the Plant the Seeds of Love transfer it's $14.99. It is on my business page if you want to do this. Now, the for every plant the seeds of love transfer sold, Chalk Couture donates $2 to the Watts of Love nonprofit organization, which provides solar-powered lights, education, and a better way of life to communities without access to electricity around the world. You can help support the mission by buying this transfer. That's the plant seeds of love. That was a lot of fun and I can see it done differently than the wreath theme. Um, you could do this on a square board. You could do it on a rectangular board. Um, I can even see with this being small, doing it on a, a board where you have like the cutout and you do the plant seeds of love and then around it in the other areas, you can do it. Let me show you what I mean by that. I have this really cool board that I almost did it on. It's this one. And I put this orange polka dot underneath this cut mat and I was going to put... Um, you know, like if I didn't have this extra box, I could have done the plant the seeds of love here and filled all this area where the mat board is with the foliage, which would have been stunningly beautiful. So whatever you can use that one for is a great thing. It's a great transfer. I can, I can see making this in a bunch of different ways. So there you have it, guys. The trust in the Lord with all thine heart. This one is also on my page because I've uploaded all the new B-size transfers that are out so far for the autumn winter book. And I've still got to work on getting the rest of the catalog on my business page. But that's what I have so far. I love it. Love it, love it. Thank you for watching. Um, if you're not a member of my VIP group, just comment, add me, and in the comments of any of my videos, and I will add you to that. And um, you can see me and watch my videos also on YouTube. Same thing, Beth's Classy Chalking. And other than that, thank you so much for joining me. And if you're watching this, as a replay, just comment hashtag replay for me so I know you're popping in after I'm done.
All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. You guys have a great night. Take care. Bye now.